WTFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, folks. This is Steve Rhodes coming to you live from sunny Delray Beach, Florida. And this is your 1 p.m. update. Currently, we've got all the indices, with the exception of the semiconductor index, uh, trading to the upside. Semis are off 16 points, about a half a percent. Dow is up about four tenths of a percent, 137 points. The S&P, six tenths or 22 points. Let's go take a look at our charts out here, get those things rolling. And we'll begin by taking a look at the uh, ES Mini. It's over on our left-hand side, and we can see that the ES Mini targeting the 3,900-plus area. Um, that's its uh, consolidation measured move breakout a level we'll call it between 3900 and 4000 out there uh, that is very likely to occur at this stage of the game because one price is trading above the top of its daily well really above all profiles daily weekly monthly quarterly yearly the whole shebang out there and we couple that with the spot volatility index which is trading below its 50 day exponential moving average that is panel number 2 on the upper uh, set of uh, the upper row. If we take a look at the NQ, that's on the very right. You're going to see that that is uh, trying to close above resistance. Now, resistance for the NQ, the price point to put down on your pad of paper is 13,599.75 here, 13,627. To close above that, that says that the NQ wants to continue to move higher. I don't recall its consolidation measured move, but it's up there quite a ways. If you take a look at the U.S. dollar index right now, you've got a, a bearish reversal candle. As the U.S. dollar index has gotten close, to that one to one A to B equals CD, which was 9180. So we're going to have to reassess uh, that and see where the US dollar index is trading in relation to the oscillator and change line. We'll do that during the show. The gold contract out here still trading below its daily, weekly, and a little trend line. So that has not exactly given us the message that, hey, you know what, the US dollar index is topped and gold is ready to take off topside. Take a look at silver, which is next to it. It's just consolidating in between its current profile, resistance at 2753, support at 2527. Light sweet crude, it's on its way up to the $70 ish area out here. It's up above all profile levels. Natural gas, what it needs to do today, had a really nice start to its day. The question is, how does it finish? And where it finishes is important. Right now, you're trading at 296. It needs to close above 3.005 to negate its uh, sell the D point structure out there. In the 30 year treasury, trading below its prior swing point at 167.11, as well as below uh, the bottom of its bullish structured daily profile. That's suggesting lower price, higher rates. Folks, if you're out to start your Friday, have a fantastic one. Otherwise, stay tuned for the Traders Head Show. We'll be back next.